Simon Bolivar International Airport or Maikisha Simon Bolivar International Airport IATA CCS ICAO SVMI Spanish Aeropuerto Internacional de Maikisha Simon Bolivar is an international airport located in Maikisha, Vargas, Venezuela about 21 kilometers 13 miles from downtown Caracas, the capital of the country. Simply called Maikisha by the local population, it is the main international air passenger gateway to Venezuela. It handles flights to destinations in the Americas, the Caribbean and some in Europe. History The airport opened in 1945 as the Aeropuerto Internacional de Maikisha. The site had been recommended as an appropriate location for an airport by Charles Lindbergh on behalf of Pan Am. The USA subsidized the construction of the airport as part of the airport development program. Luis Malasena was the architect who designed the original passenger terminal. It was regularly visited by the Anglo-French supersonic airliner Concorde until the 1980s. Commencing in the late 1970s, Air France operated weekly Concorde service between Caracas and Paris via a stop at Santa Maria Airport Azores located in the Atlantic Ocean. Between 1952 and 1962, two new wings were added to the passenger terminal, and the runway was expanded to 2,000 meters. Lighting was installed on the runway and approach zones to allow night operations. In 1956 a new runway was built, and in 1962, it was expanded to 3,000 meters long by 60 meters wide. In the 1970s a new international terminal was constructed to offer increased capacity with a domestic terminal opening in 1983. Since 2000, the airport has been undergoing major changes in order to meet international standards and to improve passenger traffic, security, immigration areas, and customs areas. Security measures have become top priority since the September 11 attacks, and now departure areas and arrival areas are completely split into the lower and upper levels of the airport. The Proyecto Maikisha 2000, Project Maikisha 2000 was completed in 2007 which added new customs and immigration areas, a new cargo terminal, and a connecting passageway between the domestic and national terminal. As part of an expansion plan, new international gates are currently in construction, and a section of the parking area has been cleared to build an airport hotel. In the 1950s under the regime of Marcos Pérez Jiménez, road transport between the airport and the capital was improved by the inauguration of the Caracas-La Guaira Highway. However, the La Guaira and Caracas Railway, dating from the 19th century, was closed. In May 2007 a maglev train was proposed to link Caracas to La Guaira and Simón Bolívar International Airport. In light of the current situation in Venezuela, the maglev train is not expected to be operational soon. In 2016 the old jetways in the international terminal were replaced with new glass wall jetways. By 2018 during the crisis in Bolivarian Venezuela, terminals in the airport lacked air conditioning and utilities such as water and electricity. Flight crews are often sent to different cities to avoid crime that occurs in the area. The company charged with providing sanitation services ceased to exist, so cleaning no longer occurs as frequently at the facility. The Bolivarian National Guard, tasked with providing security, often extorts travelers by force. Russian Air Force aircraft, including Tupolev Tu-160 bombers, were deployed to the airport in December 2018. Airlines and destinations Passenger Chronology of airlines formerly serving Caracas Foreign and domestic carriers have pulled back their presence due to political instability and their inability to recover $3.8 billion in funds owed to airlines. For fear of safety, some carriers have avoided overnight flight crews in Caracas, choosing to make a stop in a nearby country instead. The chronology of terminations are as follows. Copa Airlines — Thrice daily flights to Panama City suspended April 6, 2018. Restarted on May 1, 2018. TAME 
Daily flight to Quito, via Bogotá terminated February 3, 2018 Delta Air Lines — Daily flight to Atlanta terminated September 16, 2017 Aerolinas Argentinas — Weekly flight to Buenos Aires terminated August 5, 2017 Dynamic Airways Twice weekly flight to New York terminated August 1, 2017. Avianca daily flight to Bogota terminated July 27, 2017. Avianca Peru daily flight to Lima terminated July 27, 2017. Insul Air daily flights to Willemstad, Curacao suspended in 2017. Pending to start again in 2018 or early 2019. United Airlines Daily flight to Houston terminated June 30, 2017. Dynamic Airways Daily flight to Fort Lauderdale terminated August 13, 2016. LATAM Once weekly flight to Lima, twice weekly flight to Santiago terminated August 1, 2016. Aeromexico Thrice weekly flights to Mexico City terminated June 23, 2016. Lufthansa Thrice weekly flights to Frankfurt terminated June 17, 2016. LATAM. Once weekly flight to Sao Paulo terminated May 28, 2016. American Airlines. Five weekly flights to New York terminated April 4, 2016. GOL Transportes Aéreos. Once weekly flight to Sao Paulo terminated February 10, 2016. Alitalia. Once weekly flight to Rome terminated April 3, 2015 American Airlines — Once weekly flight to Dallas — Fort Worth and a daily flight to San Juan were terminated July 1, 2014 Avianca Costa Rica — Daily flight to San Jose de Costa Rica terminated April 7, 2014 Air Canada — Four weekly flights to Toronto terminated March 18, 2014 Topic Cargo Topic Statistics Topic Other facilities From 1960 to 1997, it was the main hub for Viasa, Venezuela's former flag carrier until it went bankrupt. As well as it was the hub for Avenza, Servavenza. Conviasa, Consorcio Venezolano de Industrias Aeronauticas y Servicios Aéreos, SA, started operation since 2004 hoping to become in a big and leader airline, and flag carrier, proud of the Venezuelan Eight Stars flag, however due to financial crisis in the Bolivarian nation several pilots quit and are leaving this company in order to fly to other nations like Turkey which operates the same type of aircraft Embraer 190. The headquarters of Conviasa is located on the airport grounds. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Accidents and incidents. On the 27th of November 1956, Linea Aeropostal Flight 253, a Lockheed Constellation, crashed while on final approach to Caracas Airport. All 25 passengers and crew on board were killed. On 12 December 1968, Pan Am Flight 217, crashed while on approach to Caracas. All 51 passengers and crew on board were killed. On 3 December 1969, Air France Flight 212 crashed shortly after takeoff from Simón Bolívar International Airport. All 62 passengers and crew on board were killed. On Monday, November 3, 1980, a Latin Carga Convair CV-880 crashed on takeoff from the airport, resulting in the deaths of four occupants, and total destruction of the aircraft. The aircraft involved, registration YV-145C, had flown from 1962 to January 1974 for Delta Air Lines of the United States and was retired by that airline, then sold to Latin Carga in 1979. On 16 October 2008 a RUTACA Airlines Boeing 737 went out of the runway while braking for arrival at 3.30 p.m. It was flying from San Antonio de Teixeira with 44 people. No one was killed or injured. In popular culture 
The airport is shown on the movie Menudo, La Película, when a pair of Menudo's friends board a flight during the film's final scenes. The airport is also shown in the 1975 French film, Le Sauvage, Call Me Savage, UK title, starring Catherine Deneuve, Yves Montan Luigi Vanucci and Tony Roberts, directed by Jean-Paul Rapineau, as several soap opera and movie key scenes were filmed at the airport. See also Los Roques Airport, an airport serving Los Roques Archipelago National Park, remotely controlled from Simón Bolívar International Airport List of airports in Venezuela List of airlines of Venezuela